Hello Cyber G, my name is Ubi G. Welcome to Click My Brain is our most valuable asset that controls many functions in our body. It controls our ability to move, regulate our breathing, smell, form words while speaking, recognize patterns, control our emotion, even to fantasize. Well, in short, it controls everything you do. A healthy brain will help our mind to stay active and get the best out of our brain as we get older. But did you know that every choice we make each day creates our habit? And a number of studies show that our habits can have significant impacts on our brain. Many of us miss steps into bad habits. That could be bad for our brain and make our brain more vulnerable to their recognitive disorders down the road. Being aware of some habits can help you to make daily choices to promote a healthy brain. Here are 5 habits that can damage your brain. But before we jump into that, if you are new to this channel and you interest to promoting the awareness about mental health, please consider to subscribe our channel and be part of us. Now let's get into topic. Multitasking. Are you listening to this video while checking your email? Or have you ever performed customer service tasks while taking care of data collection? We mistakenly believe that keeping many balls in the air is efficient and reflects a high level of cognitive skills. But in reality, our brains are doing rapidly switching between tasks. The constant switching taxes our brain to loss of accuracy or speed that comes when we shift between tasks. In short, it tires it out and makes it less efficient. One effect of multitasking is the overstimulation of brain function, which increases our stress level and makes us prone to errors. In the long term, multitasking causes permanent brain changes and weakens our memory. Sedentary lifestyle. Did your mom always advise you to get up off the couch and be more active, both outdoors and clean the house? Well, my mom did. Many studies have some bad news for couch potatoes. That a lifestyle with a lot of sitting and lying down, with very little to no exercise, can reduce the birth of new neurons, reduce plasticity, and increase inflammation. Interestingly, exercise cannot undo the damage that excessive sitting brings. So, like our parents tell us to sit less, move more, and be active for life. Under use of cognitive stimulations, we all want to live many years with the best possible quality of life. But how often do you give your brain a cognitive stimulation? When it comes to brain health, giving our minds a challenge to keep active is a really great idea. When we challenge our brain with new activities, that engage our brain, such as learning a new language, physical activity, new and complex learning, social interaction. This can help to build our cognitive reserve and reduce our risk of developing dementia. Poor sleeping habits. Sleep is an important component of human life because a good quality of sleep has been proven to improve memory recall regulate metabolism, and reduce mental fatigue. When it comes to a good quality sleep, both too much and too little are not good. Many studies prove that getting 7 to 8 hours of sleep per day seem to be necessary for proper cognitive and behavioral functions. Lack of sleep, whether it is due to working late hours or resting thoughts at night, not only make you cranky, but also risk your health and lower your concentration. An ongoing lack of sleep can lead to decreased brain function, 
weaken our immune system and mental disorders. People who spend more than 9 hours of sleep often have poor sleep quality. Many studies discover that sleeping too much could have a detrimental effect on our brain and reduce our cognitive and reasoning abilities. It is best to maintain regular effort sleeping hours. You keep pointing up negative thoughts. Do you struggle with negative thoughts that make you feel bad about past mistake? Or do you keep imagining about possible worst scenario in the near future in order to protect you from blindsided future? If those questions really describe you and your life is consumed by constant concerns, you may be an overthinker. While overthinking itself is not a mental illness, but it can tax your cognitive function and exhausting the brain cells, thus making our brain incapable of generating creative insights. Cybergy, those were five habits that can damage your brain. Bad habits interrupt your life and put your health at risk. So, do you recognize any of those habits? Recognizing those habits is the first step to identify the cause and change it. If you need help ending a habit, consider reaching out to a mental health professional. This video content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. Thank you for watching and see you in the next topics. Bye-bye.